The focus on this DVD will be on teaching innovative, safe ways to combine canine freestyle with disc dogging. All the tricks will be taught using marker or clicker training. You can teach these tricks for fun, you can use them as transition moves or to spice up your routine. You will not learn how to throw a disc. Rebound training steps. Step one, if you have a couch or a chair that's very secure, you can start by luring your dog up onto the couch and then luring them off the couch with a piece of food or a toy. When they jump up and start to jump off, you can click and toss the reward on the ground, toss it toward the starting point of the dog. This will help teach the dog to use that curvature when they get that curve of their body. Twix, wait, go, wait, go. Job, that was beautiful. Let's add on now. Okay, ready? Go up, wait, go spin, wait, go up, wait, go spin. Yes, very nice, let's get you a toy. So I'm just getting him used to jumping over my legs right now. I'm using a little bit of a lure. So he's following the treat from my hand. Now at this point, I don't really care if he touches me or not. Of course, I want his hind legs to push off of me. Once the dog gets that part, we want to start building up to where we're sitting up higher and higher because eventually we want to be standing. So we're going to start propping ourselves up with pillows until we're actually standing. So flip turn dog catch steps. Toss the disc to get a feel for how close you need to be and how high your dog needs to jump in order for you to be able to catch your dog. This helps to get your dog used to you moving into his space. First you're going to move in and then go ahead and toss the disc. So as you toss the disc, move in. Don't catch the dog yet. Second, you're going to flip turn as the dog is going to catch the disc. Just move in and place your hands on the dog and guide them as they come down naturally to the ground no catching the dog yet. The next step, you're going to toss the flip turn, the disc to do the flip turn, move into your dog space and go ahead and catch your dog. Wait, now I'm gonna take to teach the flip turn, I'm gonna take this disc and I'm going to toss it twixt down. I'm going to toss it up, over toward his head, and then toward his left hind end. And that's going to get him to follow it and hopefully catch it properly. It is a little windy. Let's go this way. Wait. Excellent job. Okay, show it again. Excellent. So the first step, we're, we're actually going to start teaching backward circles. Backward circles is a great way to add um, behaviors and turn them into transition moves in order to put them into a frisbee routine. So if you do a backward circle into a leg weave or a backward circle through your legs to catch a frisbee, it's a really great way to add some um, add transitions or move to the next trick. I don't want to build a bar. Good job. <laughs> Go a little further. Excellent. Okay. And so that's one method of first teaching the dog to use their hind legs and moving around. Ready, go. Wait. Ready, go. Wait. Ready, go. Wait. Yes. Very nice. Get the disc. Over the leg steps, start with one knee on the ground and the other leg extended out. Lure with a piece of food or a toy and encourage your dog to jump over your leg. When they do, click and reward. Yes. And then go the other way. Yes. I know I said yes. Yes. So that's the first 
the, you know, the first level, easiest. Now we have food in the hand, so now we're going to fade out the food. Around and behind training steps. Stand with your dog facing you. Lure with a treat or a toy. Have your dog follow the treat or toy going around your legs or cones. All right, around and behind. Go around, go around, go around, go around, go through. Go behind, go behind, go behind, go through. Yes. Tips on building a routine. What are you and your dog's strengths? Write down those tricks that your dog is really good at and use those tricks in a routine. Let your dog be who he is and build on those strengths. If you notice after a certain throw or after a certain behavior your dog does something such as running wide, then put that into your routine somehow. It will make the routine look natural and smooth. Get a feel for the music and figure out what it is that you will do in that piece of music before you practice with your dog.